um, we're out at the ghost and they're out. <laughs> yeah, so we came out here to uh, do some goat maintenance and a couple of the goats are out. Missy is still in and she is looking low. So we'll check her ligaments and see if we're close, maybe within 24 hours or so. And we have to catch a couple of other goats. So Maple is out. Hot Chocolate is still in. She's not very happy about that though. She wants to be with her mama. Granite is over there eating some leftover garden things. So I don't, I'm not sure why. Obviously there's part of the fence down over there, but it is on. So they made their way past some of the electric fencing. Um, so we're also going to be, while we're out here, we're going to be trying to treat some mite issues. We think our goats have mites, which I guess can happen in a rainy season. And it didn't get too cold this winter, so it didn't kill off as many of the parasites and bugs as would normally happen during the winter. But the reason we think that they have mites is because there's some dandruff here. You can see on on Missy how she's kind of flaking off a little bit. And um, maple too. Their, their hair just doesn't look as healthy as it normally has. There's some dandruff on there. And those things indicate some mites. So we're going to be treating them with some natural remedies. We're going to be spreading some DE. Um, on their hair and we're going to be spraying their shelter with some spray we made up to hopefully get rid of these mites. We're going to move their shelter um, and we're also going to do the same thing for our chickens. We're going to make them a dust bath, bath out of DE and out of some spices that Weston brought out with us. So that should do the trick. We use DE for a lot of things. We use it a lot on the garden to keep slugs away from our food. And caterpillars. Caterpillars. Yeah, it's good for a lot of things. So. And frogs. What does it do for frogs? Uh, they poop on them. They lay them. So that's what we came out here to do, but first we got to catch some goats. So they have what? Why are you still eating the socks? Uh, so what we're going to be doing is rubbing DE all over their hair. What does that spell? DE is, uh... E, E, E. <laughs> you want to pronounce that, huh? Dian... Dianestry? <laughs> Diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth. What it's going to do, it, it helps cut up like parasites. You can eat this as well and it also helps uh, with worms and stuff. <laughs> it's sharp. Even though to us it's not sharp, to the little tiny little parasites and little worms, it's sharp. So it cuts them up. So what we're going to be doing, because I think that some of the goats have some mites. So basically, can I hold it? I got to tie this off first. Yeah, you can do it, buddy. Just let him tie it up, okay? So, tie this off. We're basically just gonna rub them, rub it all over them. We'll catch one and then rub it all over. I should have got a bigger sock. <laughs> Bigfoot farmer. Bigfoot farmer. Ready? Yep. You guys ready? So, as we catch one, we should rub one down. I gotta, I gotta, oh, there we go. We you guys hop in? Spray as well, but I don't want to use all the feet up. Now that I have one, I don't need this food. Alright, so. Oh, goodness. Jerem's trimming up her hooves while he has her. This is probably, well, this is the first time of the year, but probably the first time in, what would you say? Forever? Five months or so? Yeah. That you've done her hooves. You don't have to do them very often. That's the one thing I like about Kiko's. Well, that's one of the many things yeah. you like about Kiko's. And there's Helen making sure the job is done right. I want to see it's what right. the... Still right slow. Rock. 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 Look, Rock. Rem's playing on the goat toys and the goats, well they were over there playing with Rem's toy. <laughs> I'm not feel this. You got the DE sock? So maybe yeah. why dad's oh, well. doing that, why don't you dab it on elephant? Oh, I mean Missy. <laughs> Rub it on every wall over her. Yeah, I think dabbing it will make it come out a little bit more like what you're doing, but stand, stand the opposite side of the wind so you don't get it in your face. That stuff is kind of unpleasant to breathe in. 
It's such a fine powder. Whoops, Rem, you okay? Yeah. Just bonked the tripod. What can I do with it? When Weston's done, you can spray her a little bit, and then we'll move that shelter, and you can spray inside the shelter, okay? And then we'll, we'll sprinkle DE all over the place. Good. Make sure you do her sides, but not too hard. She does have babies in there. That doesn't feel good. Good. All right. Maple's all sprayed down. And now we need granite. And then we should be good. We don't need to do hot chocolate, I don't think. Well, what about Helen? Hey, oh, sure. You can. Oh, Helen, you okay? We can do the DE on Helen if you can catch her. I'm going to try to. DE? So, Jetty, explain what you're doing to Helen right now. I put in this. And what's that going to do for her? Keep the mites away? Yeah. yeah. We aren't really going to catch all of our chickens and spray them, but that would be fun, wouldn't it? That might take all day. I know, she's feisty. Because we have a lot of chickens and they're everywhere. Yeah, we'll make a couple dust baths for them here shortly. So about a month or so after Missy Kids, we can move the goats all back up here into the woods and then move them more consistently so that they're not in this uh, permanent paddock. And that'll help out with that sort of thing too. So we'll keep the kids here. For a month or so, well, it would be fine. It would just smell like garlic in our house. Mama, good, I guess. Mama, yeah. Mama, can we try to do it? Can I please do it? You want to do some spraying? Okay. Let let Remy do some spraying. You want to help Dad? Help Dad with the DE. Anyways, in case I didn't explain that whole thing, I'm gonna explain it again because I don't know if I got cut off. So in about a month, or in about a month after Missy Kids, which hopefully is in a couple of days, uh, we did just check her ligaments and she's not gonna go in tonight anyway. Uh, but we'll move the goats up in the up in the, the woods, up in the field with the premier fencing, the movable fencing, so that they're not here in this permanent fencing, in this permanent paddock, uh, day after day after day. We can keep them moving through the through the woods and that way we'll hopefully cut back on some of these issues as well. See the baby sheep? Yeah. Okay. Spray spray the ground. There you go. And then we can put some fresh hay in there. It'll be so cozy. Okay, what are you doing? What time I slept in the pigs? I remember that I have a picture of that time you fell asleep with the piglets. Wait, you did? When I was born? Mmm, you were it wasn't that long ago. It was like a year ago, maybe. What are you doing up here? Dis? You climbing? Uh, uh. Are you a goat? Look, I could get some in here, but I won't find it yet. So no one get in the hay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good job! But Mom, you climbed up there. Good on, job! I won't try to get it on clover. Thank you, buddy. All right. The other thing I did. Can I mix some No, don't mix it up. Nope. Is I ended up putting some garlic in here and also some Trophy Rock 465, which is actually a deer mineral salt. However, it has 65 trace minerals. That's just good overall for um, animals. So. I ended up putting this in here and garlic. And what the garlic is for is good for digestive system and also any other parasites that are living in the goats and any other animals. It smells like a lot of garlic it in here. It smells so good. I hope it's good for seven-year-olds because... You eating it. All right, no more garlic.
That's Ida over there. Yeah. And what thing is like up here? One thing is that one point down. What are we going to do with these buckets right here? Where the chickens are going to sit? Yeah. So these buckets are for the chicken bath, right? Yeah. And what's in there? Sand. We kind of made a sandbox for the chickens so they can play in the sand, right? Yep. We may or may not have taken some sand from the kids' sandbox. And then what else goes in the chicken sandbox? I mean, I mean the chicken bath. So we're going to throw some DE in here. We're going to throw some, also some pine shavings. And the other things we're going to put in here... Oh, totally. We all help. It's some ground sage and some rosemary. And this all helps get rid of the mites. Any type of dandruff or any Shit, type no, of no, pesticide, no, 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 no. Um, parasite that's on the chicken. So, and so, and you know, chickens like to get dust. They, you know, they dust themselves off, and it's basically just giving themselves a bath. All right. So now you mix it in some pine shavings. Yeah, the pine shavings is like almost like a scraper. I'm Pepper Jack. The oh my gosh. Clover just opened that gate. <laughs> this will go into the field. Okay, that's okay. All right. Chef Pepper Jack and who? Um, I'm Chef Pepper Jack, and this is and this is Chef Martin. All right. What I want you to do is half of this bottle okay. goes in here. Okay. Half. The other half goes in here. You gotta make sure you. Get uh, his name is no, Chef Martin. Well, I want to have a little bit. going to take forever. I want to mix that one. Let's get some more. Good job. Yeah. Alright. Alright, now we're ready for the bass in here. Probably just so what do you do? Just sprinkle DE and new pine shavings? So yeah, just put DE, new pine shavings. New hay in the egg baskets? Yeah, I put new hay, they needed and it. And then nesting baskets? What do you call those things? <laughs> nesting boxes? Egg, egg, ba egg boxes, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm just gonna put one on either side of the boxes and let them take a bath? Yeah, you know what the cool thing about those chicken baths? Another cool thing about it is? What's that? Your eggs will come out pre-seasoned. Huh. <laughs> That's good. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. It's just a little piece of our day. I'm going to end up going to do the same thing to Lloyd and the weather and our sheep. Uh, you know, if you're going to treat an animal on the farm, you might as well treat all of them. That way, they're not just passing around different uh, bacteria or diseases or, or possibly mites. I'm not sure if the sheep have them. However, it's better safe than sorry. That way we get it all taken care of all at once and we just don't have random outbreaks. But I appreciate you guys tuning in today. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your life to watch ours. And I was talking to someone the other day who watched the videos on Facebook. And I told them, you know, I appreciate um, them subscribing and they said, well, I, don't, I haven't subscribed. How do you do, how do, how do you subscribe? Well, you go into YouTube and hit that red subscribe button. Now, you do have to create a Gmail account that I've noticed in order to subscribe. Now, you don't have to switch over to Gmail. You can just simply make a, a Gmail account that you never use again. Hit that subscribe button and you help us out a long way. So please, if you haven't, take the time to do that. I really appreciate it. And please, hit that thumbs up if you like what you have to see. And don't be afraid to leave some comments. I'm going to be leaving uh, descriptions of all the recipes that we use today down, down below in the description box. So please feel free to check that out. And also, click on all the links in there. It really goes a long way for us. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys around. Hit that subscribe.
subscribe button.